Today we are going to discuss about the RCS fluctuations. The rotating diagram has the cause of the fluctuations. So here, what is the main cause of RC RCS fluctuations? Accept angle. Accept angle. Accept angle. A small change on viewing accept of the radar, tar radar target, such as an aircraft or ship can result in major changes in the radar cross section. The fluctuation of the reflected signal is based on the complicated diagram of the relative radar cross section. At a forward moment, the RCS diagram of the airplane is turned in the preference of the radar set. Caused by the temporal change of the aim course, the amplitudes and phases changes effectively strong fluctuations of the reception field strength at the radar antenna. So, this radar fluctuation was uh, modeled by Squirling. Squirling. So, his uh, model name is Squirling model, which was introduced in the 1954 by the American mathematician Peter Swirling and are used to describe the statistical property of the radar cross section of object with a complex formed surface. According to the Squirling model, the RCS of the reflecting object based based on the chi square probability density function with specific degree of freedom. So, according to the Squirling model, what type of probability he had used? He had used the chi square probability density function with the specific degree of freedom. These models are particularly important in the theoretically radar technology because employed for finding the minimum detectable signal to noise ratio when the target cross section is not constant is based on the probability density function that describes the cross section fluctuation. Here what is going to be happen if you are not keeping the radar cross section fluctuations cannot be identified. So first this model is mainly used for finding the minimum detectable signal uh, minimum detectable signal to noise ratio when the target cross section is not constant that time we have to find the uh, fluctuations in terms of probability density function so here what do you mean by the probability density function is why we are using is we are taking number of samples for that you are going to find the density function and from that finding we are going to find the sigma and variance and differential of variance. So the probability density function PDF gives the probability of finding of the particular value of sigma and d sigma. So in addition to PDF the variation or correlation of cross section with time or pulse to pulse must be known. The time variation of a cross section fluctuation differs that of the receiver noise such, since receiver noise is statistically independent statistically independent or uncorrelated form of pulse to pulse. There are five different swirling models to identify the radar cross section fluctuations. Radar cross section fluctuations. First, first one is swirling one target. This case describes a target whose magnitude of a hey. scattering signal is relatively constant during the dwell time. It varies according to the chi square probability density function with two different of freedoms. The radar cross section is constant from pulse to pulse but varies independently from scan to scan. The density of probability of a RCS is given by the relay function. So here the relay function is rho p rho is equals to 1 by sigma average into exponential of minus sigma by sigma average where sigma average is the arithmetic mean of all values of rcs of the reflecting object so here you see you can see that selling one and two the target consists of number of equality large isotropic reflector which are distributed on the surface of other aspect angle and the same uh, and the same uh, assemble viewed by assemble viewed by viewed uh, b results to another distance and thus to the another reference. So, swir uh, swirling two target. The swirling two target is similar to the swirling I uh, one using the same equation, except the radar cross section value changes faster and varies from pulse to pulse additionally. So, swirling one is swirling uh, two. Swirling two is uh, target. Uh, swirling two target is similar to the swirling one, but 
there is a rcs varies faster and varies from pulse to pulse additional the swelling case 1 and 2 applies to the target that is made up of many independent scatters or roughly equal areas like airplane however in swelling case 2 there is no rotating surveillance and antenna but a focus on to a target traveling radar target traveling radar the swelling case 1 and 2 applies to the target that is made up of many independent scatterings of roughly equal areas like airplane however in swelling case 2 there is no rotating surveillance antenna but a focus not on to a target of tracking so swelling 3 the swelling target 3 is described like a swelling 1 but with 4 degree of freedom for the 4 degree of freedom m is equal to 2 the scan to scan fluctuation follows a density of probability so here the probability delay probability function is p sigma is equal to 4 sigma by sigma average square into exponential minus 2 sigma so swelling 3 and 4 a dominant isotropic reflector is superimposed by a purity of small reflector purity of small reflector so swelling 3 swelling 4 targets the swelling case 4 is similar to the swelling 3 but the rcs varies from pulse to pulse rather than uh, from scan to scan and follow the equation 4 case 3 and 4 approx approximates an object with a large scattering surface with several other small scattering surfaces this may be cause of strips selling shows in his published publications that an additional fluctuation loss depends more on the probability of detection and less on the probability of false alarm here in swelling 4 what they say that in, in this may be a case of for ships swelling shows of his publication that an additional fluctuation losses depends more on the probability of detection and less on the probability of false alarm gives value of the theoretical maximum range of the tracking radar set has set r based on the swelling 2 and 4 target model often the fluctuation loss of the study target in which the typical value of 1 to 2 decibels relative small at the probability of detection in PD is equals to 60 percent and the last model is the swelling case 4, 5 is reference value with a constant radar cross section also known as swelling 0 it describes the idealization target without any